Senator from Eastern Fairfax County, Senator Surville. Thank you, Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen of the Senate. Uh, on behalf of the Senate's JMU caucus, myself, Senator McDougal, Senator Hanger, I would like to present to you a great Virginian, uh, Charles Haley. He is joined today in the gallery with his wife, Karen Haley, his mother, Virginia Haley, his daughter, Brianna. We also have here uh, the president of James Madison University, Jonathan Alger, executive vice president, Charles King. Um, up in the gallery, we have his brother, George Haley, his, uh, and Sarah Haley, his other brother, Lawrence Haley, and Gloria Haley. We have his aunt, Catherine Payne, his aunt, Adeline Calloway, uh, friend Susie Cox, Queen Graves. Uh, also, we have his former JMU coach, Chalice McMillan, his wife, Mary Lou McMillan, and the JMU athletic director, Jeff Bourne, joining us today. Charles Haley, ladies and gentlemen, is a great Virginian. He was born in Gladys, Virginia, just south of Lynchburg. He attended William Campbell High School, where he was a distinguished football player. He then chose to go not to UVA, not Virginia Tech, not William & Mary, but he chose to go play football at a school called James Madison University, a school which we're all very proud of. He was a Jamie from 1982 to 1985. I just want to give you a sense of some of the things he accomplished while he was there. The clerk is going to read a resolution in a moment with a lot of stats in it. But he had two seasons where he recorded 143 and 147 tackles. And this is in a season where they play on average of 10 to 12 games. Um, he had multiple games where he recorded over 21 tackles in a game, which is insane when you think about the number of plays in a game. When he was training for the NFL draft, his 40-yard 40, his 40 dash came out at 4.8 seconds because he wasn't wearing the right shoes. I read this. <laughs> and they got him some better shoes, and he trained. And at the end of the, at the, end of the season, or at the end of the, the training session, he got his, his time down to 4, 4, 4 seconds and 4.55 seconds. The 49ers looked at that, and they were astounded because they were looking for a receiver that could run 4.59 seconds. And here was a linebacker, defensive end, that could run faster than a wide receiver. He went on to the NFL where he led a career as a professional wrecking ball. While he's at the NFL, he played with Jerry Rice, Joe Montana, Emmitt Smith, Troy Aikman. He went on to not only be in five Super Bowls, but win five Super Bowls. And he's the first player in NFL history to get five rings. They call him the first of five. This is something that nobody else in the NFL has ever accomplished today. When you think about that, there's been 50 Super Bowls. He won 10% of them. He was on a team that won 10% of them. <laughs> Now, um, I would encourage all of you all to go look at, at his NFL acceptance speech that he gave to the Hall of Fame. He was admitted to the NFL Hall of Fame this last year, but his life was not all glory. It was not all easy for him. Um, Charles Haley, um, he, uh, he had, he had mental, mental health issues that he fought through, that he accepted, now he mentors other people on. Um, he, had, he had his struggles, but he, gave, he tells a lot of great stories in that. Just a couple I want to share with you really quick. First of all, he has a great Jerry Jones impression, if you ever need to hear it. Um, he blames his big brothers for why he's here. He said they, they never used to pick him to play football with him when they would play out in the yard. And uh, so he used to pray a lot about that. Uh, he used to pray about his brothers, and then he ended up changing his prayer. Instead of praying about his brothers, he prayed to be a good football player. And that changed his life. And he also uh, blames his mother for his speed. He says she's got... <laughs> He says she's got a good, uh, a good uh, sweep move or something, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but anyways, he's, uh, he's an incredible Virginian. He loves everybody who got him here. He especially loves JMU. And uh, he really loves JMU. He loves JMU so much. He got two busts for the NFL Hall of Fame. He gave one of them to JMU, and he kept one for himself. And as, as, a, as a, a fellow JMU alumni, as a fellow Virginian, I am proud to present him to the State Senate of Virginia in recognition of the tremendous achievements he's had and the great honor he's had on the football field. Thank you, Mr. President. And if I would ask the clerk read the resolution. Senate Joint Resolution Number 141, commending Charles Haley. Whereas Charles Haley, a James Madison University alumnus who played in the National Football League, and became the only player to earn five Super Bowl championship rings, was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame as a member of the class of 2015, 
and whereas a native of Gladys, Charles Haley was a four-year starter on the James Madison University football team, where he set the school's record for career tackles with 506 from 1982 to 1985. He was named as an All-American twice and most valuable defensive player three times and was later elected to the JMU Athletics Hall of Fame. And whereas Charles Haley became the first JMU alumnus selected in the National Football League draft when he was selected by the San Francisco 49ers in 1986, during his first season he recorded 12 sacks, leading all rookies in the league. And whereas playing with the San Francisco 49ers from 1986 to 1991, Charles Haley was a member of the Super Bowl 23 and Super Bowl 24 championship teams. He was traded to the Dallas Cowboys in 1992, where he thrived in the team's 4-3 defensive scheme and helped win three more Super Bowls in 1992, 1993, and 1995. And whereas Charles Haley retired as a player in 1999 and became an assistant defensive coach for the Detroit Lions, he remains an active mentor for rookies on the San Francisco 49ers and Dallas Cowboys, sharing valuable lessons from both on and off the field and works with charitable organizations such as the Jubilee Family Development Center and the Salvation Army. And whereas throughout his 12-season career in the NFL, Charles Haley recorded 498 tackles, 100.5 sacks, 26 forced fumbles, eight fumble recoveries, and two interceptions. He was selected for the Pro Bowl five times, named two-time National Football Conference Defensive Player of the Year by United Press International, and is the only player in NFL history to take part in five Super Bowl victories. And whereas in addition to being the first JMU alumnus named to the Pro Football Hall of Fame, Charles Haley was inducted into the Virginia Sports Hall of Fame in 2006, the Dallas Cowboys Ring of Honor in 2011, and the Texas Black Sports Hall of Fame in 2012. Now, therefore, it be it resolved by the Senate, the House of Delegates concurring, that the General Assembly hereby commend Charles Haley on the occasion of his induction into the Pro Football Hall of Fame with a class of 2015. And be it resolved further that the Clerk of the Senate prepare a copy of this resolution for presentation to Charles Haley as an expression of the General Assembly's admiration for his many achievements and contributions to the world of sports. Thank you, Madam Clerk. While, the, while Charles is escorted to the front of the dais, I would ask the Senate to please give him the warm welcome of the Senate. of the Senate and our staff, thank you so much for, for sharing your time with us today and what a remarkable career you've had and a tremendous amount of football fans here and across the country and I, I do want to admit, we, I'm not going to call any names, but we do have some Redskin fans uh, amongst us today, <laughs> so, which, is, which is I'm sure okay, you can handle that, right? Yes, sir. But uh, anyway, you have so much to be proud of and you have touched so many lives and especially young lives and been a mentor to, to them to get them off to a great start in life and uh, we just thank you for being here and wish you the best and congratulations. Thank, thank you. you. Yes, sir.